Hi everyone, this is Tina here and welcome to my 23rd vlog. So right now I'm heading out to Rec Room, the one in downtown Toronto. Um, I'm meeting up with my friend Anjo, who just came back from Hamilton, haven't seen her in quite a few months, so very excited to finally see her again in this holiday season. Um, I've been to the rec room once, I believe, and I think it's pretty chill, lots of great games, and we're planning on going to this uh, Latin American restaurant called Barrel on King Street later on. I heard it's pretty popular, and we finally got a reservation, so very excited to check it out as well. See you there! The rec room. Pretty good weather today. I'm on my way to something And so are they and so are you Back to a time we all went through Leaving the grown up times behind Put in reverse, go back in time Waking up stories that turn up Tommy, the master at this game. We got seven of them. <laughs> Rounding circles, turn around, we need a boot. Throw your sorrow. Who just got this? It is worth 700 something. Matt Pharaoh. Vienna, my, we come in line. This is the papa over here, which comes with some tortilla breast. Okay, we got four of them. So these are our starters. We have the wedge salad. This is the small over here. And then the beef and potato bowls or something. It's called papa something. This is also called papa something. I don't know. This one is like pork sausage and stuff. It looks very spicy though. And it comes with some tortilla breads. Hi, Angel. Long time no see again. You're finally back in Toronto. I'm yes. so glad. With all the streets that are so bright This is like your must try dish oh, over here so uh, This is the chalfa, which is like duck breast Is it duck breast or duck leg? I don't know Like uh, braised rice And then this one is the grilled chicken Extra carbs <laughs> December 31st of 2022, so the last day of this year, and it is New Year's Eve, so I've been prepping for the New Year's Eve dinner, but other than that, it was really rainy outside today. I think it's going to be like that for quite a few days. I'm not sure if there's going to be fireworks still tonight, but let's see. And yeah, I mean, time really does fly. I can't believe 2022 is already over, but Quite a lot of stuff happened this year, did a lot of um, different types of work, met a lot of different types of people, went to different places, tried out a lot of different foods, so it's been a pretty exciting and um, worthwhile year for me to learn a lot and develop a lot more stuff that I feel like would be helpful for the future as well, so I appreciate what has happened in 2022. And I really do look forward to 2023. It's gonna be definitely a different year again because I'll be graduating and starting uh, to work. So I don't know what that's gonna lead me or anything's gonna change about me, but hopefully I can still continue doing my vlogs and um, doing all those random daily stuff that I, hopefully people are interested in seeing about or I will just share randomly, force you to watch them. Anyways, Happy New Year, everyone, and I hope 2023 will be the best to everyone. So today is December 31st, and it is the morning right now, although it's really rainy, but whatever. I am 
gonna be prepping for tonight's New Year Eve dinner. Um, so there's some preparation that needs to be done. First, we've got the chicken wings that I need to marinate. So I'm gonna be using this seasoning powder. Cause life makes sure all right. Just like this, and we can leave it in the fridge for at least four hours. Next up, I have some pork ribs, which I'm gonna be steaming with this powder that I've shown before. It's like a little bit spicy, um, and we have to marinate this as well. I'm gonna be adding cooking wine, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. And this is now also ready to go into the fridge. And lastly, I'll be getting some fillets because you have to eat fish when it's new year so this is a pretty piece i'm gonna be adding this powder into the marinated pork ribs like so and we'll keep it marinating in the fridge Darkness covers the sky And I can't see you through my eyes You say, don't you worry this time Cause life makes sure we're alright You let the breeze take your pain away And all your worries fade You see the trees sway If you're listening You can hear the world singing Everybody The best and I feel sad at times I try to rest to be less stressed But it's not working out I can't communicate the motions that I'm facing now. Alrighty, so this is the New Year's Eve dinner that I just prepped Let's see what we have So this is the fish with, um, like the fish fillet With tomatoes And this is the eggplant With some pork stuffed inside This is grilled chicken wings this is some veggie stir fry, and this is potatoes steamed with short ribs or pork ribs. Some drinks as well. Yay! A good celebration to the end of this year. I am at a scary on king. I've been here for brunch, but now I'm here for dinner on a very rainy day. Oh my god, good for me. Got a lot of half finished novels on my nightstand. Wanna see the world, but I don't plan. Head up in the clouds and I can't. Alrighty, so we're at a scary king. Um, we have a salad. This is the famous egg yolk carbonara, this is the beef tartare, and this is the fritti of, um, what is it called, zucchini, zucchini fritti, it's like fries, but with zucchini. Yeah, nice meal, bon appetit. How much will I lose before I learn it, before I learn it, break the habits I know, before I end up alone, how much will I lose? I'm using these two types of sticky rice. This is the white one and this is like black slash purple. have to um, add water in and let it sit for like overnight or at least four hours before you actually cook these rice. This one was pure like white and this one I'm mixing um, both white and black but I think the color that actually turns out at the end is gonna be purely like black slash purple because it's gonna take over the white. 
But yeah, same thing, you're gonna add water and let it sit. So this is already the morning of the second day, and I'm ready to steam this. You can either steam it or just use the rice cooker, which is what I'm gonna do. And basically, you just add water to like on the top of its level, like you need less water than if you cook regular rice. So after giving it a good mix, we can let it sit for a few more minutes while we prepare the other ingredients. So in little bowls, I first added some peanut butter oil at the bottom so that it doesn't stick. And then I'll be using some red dates. From there, we can now add the sticky rice. Just a like that. Now the next layer will be some red bean paste. Like this, a layer on top of the sticky rice. I also added a little bit more of the dates. I'm gonna let them steam for just a few minutes. So I will be giving these to my friends later today, but um, basically you wrap them in some plastic wraps um, and if you want to eat them, you can just steam for a little bit, but if not, you can leave it in the freezer and it lasts for quite a long time. Same idea and now the purple eyes is also done. I'll be adding the sugar, but this time also some honey. This time, I'm putting some walnuts in the middle. And this time, I'm gonna use black sesame paste. Ta-da, just like that before our last layer. This is the one with black bean and this is the one with the regular sticky rice. Today is January the 8th, which is a Sunday, and that means school, the second term of this year, officially starts tomorrow. How horrible is that? I mean, can't believe my holiday just went by. I feel like I did nothing, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, um, so just before school starts, plenty of heading out for a last little bit of fun. I am going to check out a new Caribbean restaurant on King Street. It is called Miss Licklemore's. I've always wanted to go because um, actually I tried to reserve for that place for like three times and then somehow the plans just never worked out and finally today, so let's go see what they have. Here I am at Miss Licklemore. This is the scallop kudo. I don't know where the scallop is, but it looks like a mango pudding. So spicy ground beef and oxtail, and then the sauce there is a fermented mango hot sauce. So it's like sweet meat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sure, yeah. So here is uh, it's the coconut snow crab and Carolina cold rice and your four cheese mac pie on a scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Thank you. This is the mac pie which is like mac and cheese but made into a shape of a pie and it's like really big. <laughs> 
And this is the famous crab exo, which is like fried rice or um, braised rice, I don't know, with snow crab. Hi, my friends. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Back to school for this time for the first time. Back on campus. <laughs> 